Good morning. So today is Saturday, October 4th, I believe. Um, and I just did a video a couple weeks ago on a CEO day and I need one <laughs> really bad. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. Everything is a disorganized mess. And so I figured I would try to record and take you along with me because that's a thing that YouTubers do, right? So the very first thing that I am doing is getting ready as though I'm heading off to work because it puts me in a different frame of mind. So if I try to go and do high level thinking and strategizing and like get into that CEO mode, but I'm still in my PJs, <laughs> it doesn't work that well for me. So I get dressed to the shoes often. Um, I'm wearing a dress actually that I have not worn in a very long time and I'm gonna put my makeup on and I'm probably not gonna do much for my hair because this is about all it does these days is like, that's about it. We're going for simple these days, ladies. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take you through and show you what it is that I'm doing today to get things in order, to do some quarterly planning. Um, I've got some bookkeeping to do. I, the very first thing I need to do is just make a list of everything that I need to get done today. And then we're gonna see how much we can get done today because it is a Saturday and we like to spend time together. Justin and I like to spend time together on the weekends. So I'm not gonna be working my butt off by any means. I don't wanna work all day, but I do need to get some stuff done. So come along with me. I need some music. Hair needs to air dry. I'm gonna balance you precariously on a chair and I'm gonna make my bed. Not because making your bed makes you successful, but it does make you self-disciplined and it's just kind of a thing that we do because we like to get into a made bed. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna get into things. That awesome little ramp right there <laughs> is our temporary solution for this awesome little buddy right here. So I'm fasting this morning, so we're just gonna get right into work, make the most of a few hours, see what we can get done. Justin doesn't have a shirt on again. We're gonna start off by making a list and then seeing where we go from there. Say hi naked Justin. <laughs> it's not super disorganized. What's the real big disorganization is in my head, <laughs> on my schedule, on my planner, all of my tasks are bookkeeping, all of those things. And it's mentally making me really scattered and drained. And I'm just gonna take today and get that kind of stuff organized. But I am gonna start by organizing my office a little bit, just to kind of create a little bit of a space so that I don't have any physical clutter to add to mental clutter. This right here is something that I like to do. Hopefully you can see that. It says my priorities, my rules. Basically, this is like rule number one. I have to take care of my health and my well-being and just being in the right place before I work. Number two is take care of my clients. And then it kind of goes down from there, but this is actually kind of old and outdated. Once I redo everything, I'm gonna redo this as well, but I wanna leave this one up for now simply because I may wanna reference it when I redo it. So the first thing that I need to do is check my ClickUp because I have some things in here that I know I wanted to address and I wanna make sure I get those up on my whiteboard. Okay, so I have my main list. This is not exactly in order. I probably need to get this stuff out of the way first. So my right-hand woman, we renegotiated salary and bonuses. So I've got to get that contract out, like finished and out to her. I need to do some bookkeeping, some budgeting, all that fun stuff. There's some payment structures that I want to like put into a spreadsheet so I can actually see what's coming when. And I've got to figure out bonuses and that goes with this contract as well. Um, and getting that paid. So I think I'm actually gonna start here. I'm gonna do that. 
Um, then I'm gonna sit down and figure out quarterly goals. And then I'm gonna figure out from there monthly focus. And then once I do that, I can reorganize tasks. I have so many tasks and projects that we put on our calendar thinking we would have time for them, but everything we were doing last month with the challenge leading up to the group coaching, it just, a lot of little stuff just got put off. And so I wanna reorganize that little stuff, figure out like where does it actually fit in this quarter? Um, I'm bringing on somebody new in December, so what can I actually have prepared for them to take over? What is gonna be our focus for this quarter? Which of these tasks just need to be taken off our list altogether because they're just not important right now? And which ones do we wanna like, just get them off of our, our plate, like get them finished, get them completed and off our mind. Um, once I do all of that, then I'll be able to update that whiteboard list. I'll be able to update my ClickUp and my schedule. <laughs> and then figure out from there what I might be missing. I feel like I'm missing something right now, but we'll figure it out as we go. It's not like this is a one-shot deal. It's not like I can't do this again. It's like I can't add to it or whatever. So I'm gonna do the best I can and go from there. So with any of my either employees or contractors, what I actually have just in my documents is like taxes, employees, contractors file, and then all of the things that I need <clears throat> are actually in this file. So all I'm gonna do is actually go in and pull up our last one and then edit that one uh, so that I can make my life a little bit easier because not much has changed from it. So this is a prime example of why you need a CEO day where you're focused on these type of tasks because I've been putting this off for like a month and it literally just took me about 10 minutes to update the contract, turn it into a PDF, upload it into a signature thing, sign it and get it sent off to her. <laughs> it all depends on the frame of mind you're in, right? If you're in that operator role, if you're in that like creative role, you're not gonna be able to do this type of admin work and it starts to weigh on you and that's why you need these types of CEO days. So that one is done. Uh, I'm gonna move on to bookkeeping. Yay, that one's always fun. Okay, so I have our bookkeeping in Wave right now, which is a free bookkeeping thing for small businesses. Um, it's not perfect, but until we find a bookkeeper that we really like, that's what I'm using. I got that done, I haven't done that in months. Not my favorite thing to go through and just categorize things, but it's done. Um, I have our budgeting, all of our budgets, personal and business in YNAB, which I've done a video on, you can check out. I have that mostly done. In order to finish all of this, I actually need to figure out my bonus that is due my assistant. So she gets a 10% bonus on any big launches that we do. So we just did this big launch off of the challenge and into the group program. And so I need to figure out what is due to her. But in order to do that, I've got to get all of those numbers into a spreadsheet so I can figure out what we've collected, what we're going to be collecting through payment plans, and then what I'm going to be giving to her and when so that I can get that sent over. Once that's done, my budget will be up to date. I can finish that and I can finish bookkeeping and then I will be done with finances. Except for I probably sit down and look and just like, you know, see how I wanna orient things in terms of, I'll probably come back to it actually after I figure out what our focus is gonna be this quarter and where we might need finances and maybe I'll need to move some things around. Yeah, fun stuff. So what I've done here is listed each one of the students. I listed their payment option that they did. So whether they did pay in full or payment plan, whether they did PayPal or Stripe. Then I went through and did what's already been collected. So pay in full, obviously the whole thing was collected. If it was payment plan, the first payment was collected. And then what will be collected over the next three months. I did some totals at the bottom as well. So a total of what's been collected altogether. Um, my total ad spend and then my net profit of what's been collected all together. And then I did the same thing of, of what I can expect to be collected total over the next three months. And then in the last column, I did the total to be collected when it's all said and done, 
um, again, what that ad spend is and then what my net is. So total income minus ad spend equals net. This obviously is not including other fees or expenses, but this is the way that I do it because it works for me. And then from that net, from the initial collected, I figured out 10% of that because this is the end of the quarter, so she gets her bonus for the last quarter, so she's gonna get 10% of what's been collected. And then at the end of the next quarter, she'll get 10% of what will be collected over the next three months. Again, this is not fancy. This is not something that needs to be done, but it's something that works well for me because I like a big picture. I like to see it all in one place, know what my numbers are, know what to expect, and then I can go through and easily track things. Um, and specifically when it comes to things like mentioning in here, what's PayPal and what's Stripe, Stripe will pay me automatically. I need to remember to actually go into PayPal and make those transfers myself. So this just helps me to kind of keep it all in one place and um, organize so that it's not just like details floating around in my brain, which is never a good idea. It's not a good thing to keep very many things in my brain. <laughs> my brain is a dangerous place to keep things. Oh my gosh, so glad that I'm doing this today. Okay, bills are paid, bookkeeping is done. Couldn't pay out the bonus yet because I'm still waiting on a few pending transactions to hit my bank account, but I realized I did not have a task set up in ClickUp for myself to remember to do this on a quarterly basis. So I've been trying to remember and she reminds me and that's just totally unprofessional, not cool on my part. So I have it set up now so that it will remind me every quarter to go in do the bookkeeping on bonuses and get her paid out on a much more consistent basis. It's not that it hasn't been consistent, but she shouldn't have to remind me. Like that's my job, total not cool on my side. So all of that is now set up. This is why I love CEO days because you can get in and you can organize things that you've been putting off because you've been in the grind or you've been doing other things and you can just finally get stuff organized that needs to be organized. So that's all set. So I've got bookkeeping done, employment contract done, payment spreadsheet done, bonuses, I turned that into a spreadsheet also so that we can both see the tracking on that. Um, again, just more accountability that I should have had created already. And now I'm gonna get into quarterly goals. <laughs> Before I do that though, I need a break because working with spreadsheets and working with finances and all of that, not my zone of genius, definitely needs to be something I outsource soon and it is on our project list. It's probably gonna be one of the quarterly goals. But I, after doing all of that, I just, I need to like take a moment. So I'm gonna get some water, I'm gonna take a break and then we'll come back. We'll work on quarterly goals, monthly focus and KPIs and get some stuff reorganized in my task list based on what I come up with there. So, oh. It's been maybe an hour to an hour and a half and I, I think one of my quarterly goals just needs to be getting a CFO <laughs> to do this stuff for me. I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet, but I'm gonna look into it, I think. All right, break and then more work. Actually, what I decided is I need some physical movement, so I'm gonna like clean up my kitchen a little bit. Music, water, movement, back at it. Okay, it's all straightened up back there. Yay! Nothing makes you feel quite as good as a dance break and a quick cleanup. So now, let me go back to my list. Done, 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 done. Doing, next, next, next. Okay, so I have three tasks that I do either monthly and or quarterly. So this first one is the monthly goal, and this is where I just drop in whatever the monthly goal is gonna be for that month, and we get it into a focus. But I don't do this one until I've done this one, which obviously it's a new quarter. I only do this once a quarter, so I need to do this to kind of figure out what's my focus gonna be for October, November, and December. And then um, the monthly key factors and focus check-in. This is a big giant list 
of things that I need to focus on in my business at various times. So some of it's more important than others. Um, and so what I end up doing with this is I go through and I rate myself on a scale of one to 10 on where things were at this month. So you can kind of hopefully see some of these or pause these if you need to look through them. But you can go through and, and make one of these for yourself. And I just kind of rate like, you know, where am I at with things? And then what am I focusing on for the following month? So with this, I will usually just narrow it down to a couple things that I really want to focus in on. Um, and it's going to be based generally on what's lowest here, but also something might be low, but it's just not a priority right now either. So it's going to be based on what I want my focus to be on as well. But again, in order to really figure this out well, I need to do the quarterly planning. So I'm going to pop over into this one. And what I'm going to do first is go through my Q3 goals, look at how those things went and look at what I really want to be focusing on moving forward, given what's on my plate right now and where my interest lies. So I'm going to do that and let you know what I come up with. So this is where I end up usually over committing myself <laughs> and i'm really just contemplating how i want to be spending my energy through the holidays leading up into the new year nurturing my inner circle group right now and just making sure that i'm setting realistic expectations because i'm looking at what i finished last quarter <laughs> And it wasn't a whole lot. Um, I got a lot of stuff started and going, but I really, I put things on there that were kind of like a nice to do, and I wasn't necessarily ready for them yet. And so I think what I really need to do before I even set these goals is I need to go through my tasks and see what's currently on my lists and kind of put them all in one place maybe. I think that's what I might do so that I can sort of organize them a little bit and really figure out, okay, what's gonna make the most sense? And I'm, right now I'm really looking at creating some passive revenue models. And so I wanna look at what's closest to cash, what's gonna help to, to just move the needle forward without taking on too much. It's so easy for me to be like, let's get all these other organizational things out of the way. You probably do the same thing, right? Like, let me just get these details sorted out. Let me get this sorted out. And then I end up not focusing on the things that I need to focus on. And so it's a habit that I've really been working hard at not doing <laughs> anymore. I'm gonna look at my schedule. I'm gonna take things off of my list, put them on a separate list, reorganize them, and then decide what I wanna do with them. I think I have this pretty well organized. When I put it all down like this, um, first it overwhelmed me <laughs> and then I got it a little more organized. So like, I know that my health, my family and taking care of the dogs this month is going to be a lot. There's a lot going on there. Um, and then this is my regular stuff, just content creation, nurturing my clients and my community, doing admin type things. This right here that's plenty. <laughs> um, I also, I have the inner circle starting and so I need to do some prep work on that. That's going to be mostly done this first week. Um, and then I'll be able to start on this. This is pretty much done. I'm just moving it over from one page to another. So that won't be too difficult. I may actually be able to outsource some of that. I'm not a hundred percent sure if all of this is going to be realistic, but what I'm basically doing is scheduling it out like a week at a time. So I'm really just taking on one small project a week. And then the rest of the stuff, I'm just gonna like copy and paste over into ClickUp and save it for later and come back later. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna overwhelm myself if I try to do too much all at once. So I'm just gonna pace myself. Okay, so I have October figured out. So what I do now is go into monthly goal. I look at September's and I mark off what I actually accomplished. So do we do a stress less challenge? Yeah, actually it's pretty stress free. Um, got the group signups, did not complete the copy cure, but got about halfway through it. Okay, so my things for October, when I put them into my calendar, they're actually gonna be mostly done by the second week of October, which is perfect. That leaves the last weeks for content creation or for catch up. So, so I've got this scheduled next week and I've got this scheduled next week. 
And I've got this scheduled next week because I'm just gonna actually be scheduling the appointment um, to meet with her later in the month. This will be happening two weeks after that. This will be happening the second week. So this will be the third week. This will be the third week. This will be the second week. And this will be ongoing throughout. So it looks like a lot, but it's a lot of little stuff really. I've sat down and made sure that I have the time for everything on my calendar. Um, and so October is set up. What I'm gonna do now is go into the monthly key factors and focus check-in that I mentioned earlier. And I'm gonna go through that and answer the questions, get everything set up, reset my quarterly goal so I have that set up. And then I think I'm freaking done. I hope so because it's 2.40 and I need to eat. Okay, so I have everything written into ClickUp, but in order for me to like keep it in my brain, that's why I have my whiteboard. <laughs> so that I can like consistently refer back to it because if it's in a corner of ClickUp, I'm just not gonna see it out of sight, out of mind. So I am going to erase all of this. I am going to create my monthly focus and my quarterly focus so that I can stay focused. <laughs> And that's all she wrote, folks. I am pretty tapped out. I realized I did not get my financials done on the personal side of things. I did not get my email inbox <laughs> up to date or straightened out, but I'm done ski. I can't do anything else today. We're gonna have some lunch. We're going to take the rest of the weekend off and I will get to everything else in the week. Overall, I'm glad to have done this, even if I didn't get everything done, simply because I now have a clear idea of what I'm doing going into October. I've taken some things off my plate and I've allowed myself to just focus on the most important things right now, really October being kind of a month to just regroup, reset, recharge, and go into the holidays and into the new year feeling really good with some systems in place and some clarity around some things. So overall, it'll be good. I hope this video was helpful or inspiring in some way. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a video or give it a thumbs up <laughs> if you found the video helpful and I will see you in the next one.